let's try this. Uh, Q and E combine to form an ion and compound whose formula is QE. Q and Z combine to form an ion and compound whose formula is Q3Z2. What is the charge for Q, E, and Z? Okay, because Q is listed first in both of those formulas, it's got to be a cation. And Z and E are both listed last, so they've got to be anion. to assume that Q is the same at the same oxidation state or has the same charge in both of those formulas. Okay? So, uh, what we can say effectively is that Q has to be positively charged. So it can be either plus 3, which is 2, plus 1. Um, e has to be negatively charged, so it can be minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, and Z the same. Okay, so now we got to compare these um, uh, formula units. So we know that Q and E have the same uh, magnitude, uh, but opposite charges, uh, because of course uh, they have to add, add together and equal zero at the end. Um, if we look at this, if we look at these numbers over here, this, this might be the easiest way to look at this. If we look at these numbers over here, and we look at these numbers here, 3 and 2, there's only one way to get um, uh, these to cancel out to be 0. Okay, And if we look, if we break it apart, we say um, 3 Qs plus something plus, plus two Z's, um, something minus, okay? So if we've got two, um, and we multiply it by two uh, here, two minus, um, we can't get Q to equal to four, okay? If we take two minus here, um, we can't say uh, three Q's is, um, four plus altogether, because that would mean they were each plus 0.75, okay? So Z can't be two minus. So Z can either be uh, one or three, okay? Um, okay, so if Z was one, right, then we would have two of them, two of them, and that would equal two minus altogether. Okay? There's no, again, there's no way we can get Q to be two minus. So Z can't be minus one. Okay, okay so we're left with saying that Z is going to be minus three. So if Z is minus three, and we've got two of them, two times three is six, right? So we have a total of minus six there. Uh, three times what equals plus six? Well, it's going to be two, okay? So we got a plus six now, uh, plus a minus six. Does that equal zero? Yes, it does. So uh, the charge for Q then has to be plus two, okay? And then, of course, when we go back to the first formula, we know that Q and E have the same charge, or same uh, magnitude.